Okay. Um, I'm just, um, my inspiration is just to ask for a supportive message right now. Um, just to share, um, things have been pretty chaotic for me lately. And um, in the past few days, I've kind of gone into this sort of slow, depressed, sort of like, I don't want to do anything mood. So yeah, so I'm just going to be open to seeing uh, what the, what supportive message I can receive right now. I see a um, a wolf guide to start out. It's just like looking at me. I'm in this in energy of just like kind of just like wolf or spirit world. I'm I just like somehow I've gotten myself back in this energy of just kind of giving up. <laughs> And um, I see something happening. Um, I'm kind of overlooking this other scene. I see a lot of water. It's like an ocean. And I also see a dock. Um, there's something about a man on a dock. And I see some different boats along the dock. It's like a small wooden dock, very small. Uh, with just some like canoes tied up there. And uh, I think there's like a man there. And um, I don't know, it could be me. He looks very just like sunken down, sort of depressed, sort of just like leaning over the water, looking at the reflection in the water, um, just kind of defeated looking. So definitely kind of matches my feelings. The water behind him though is super tumultuous. So it's kind of weird because the dock's in like this pond, but the water has like this massive swell. Um, and maybe that relates to something in my, um, my atmosphere right now where it's like kind of got myself into this defeated sort of feeling um um but there's a lot of energy still like represented by this swell that, that does want to move or be used But I've kind of sort of focused myself into this sort of like, I'm just tired. I don't want to do anything. I just want to sleep. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go back to just this asking. Okay, so spirit world. I'm open to receiving. Goes right back to the wolf. Um, the wolf is a pretty, just to share, the wolf is a pretty core spirit guide for me. So it's a, it's a very positive, it, it often represents like the word authenticity is a big part of it for me. It's a, it's a pretty core guide. So, um, I'm just sort of looking at the wolf. There's not a lot of movement here going on. It's just like me, I'm sitting on the dock or I'm looking at this wolf. I see one thing that, that flashed when we were connecting was um, an image of um, a seashell, which I've been seeing this image of a seashell. It's kind of like a new sort of symbolic imagery that, that comes to me during these journeys, which um, I'm not quite sure exactly what it means yet, 
This one's a little bit different. It's all white and it's got lots of spikes on it. Spikes isn't the right word, but this, the shape of the shell has got these angular sort of points and spike like triangle type of patterns on it. It's like, it's not smooth. Saw a brief flash of a parrot and um, There was some, there was something in conjunction with the parrot showing up uh, that seemed to be a, a voice of approval coming from the wolf. Um, so, it seemed to be like, it seemed to be uh, expressing that, um, kind of like some self-esteem, like if the wolf is representing kind of connection to my authentic self. So it's like a howl is sort of like, you're being in yourself here. This is this is in alignment with who you are. Um, and the, the parrot for me has to do with um, self, ex with, um, I feel some resistance to saying this out loud. So I'm trying to kind of find the right words here that feels okay to share, but to simply say expression, uh, self-expression <clears throat> in general. I will say colorful expression to be more precise. <sighs> Um, I, I'm kind of just like, I'm going back into this feeling of stuckness a little bit. The focus in my body seems to be somatically in my heart center, in my chest. See an image of the parrot again. Some some more of the feeling I'm experiencing, it feels it it feels like heaviness. It feels like um it feels like water energy, it feels like heaviness, um, it feels like stuff in my chest area. Okay, that was interesting. When I said that, I saw two images. I saw, I saw this pirate ship um, could be like on a lake somewhere. And then more in the closeness, I saw um, a beaver. <laughs> Was it a beaver? Is that a beaver or I'm trying to do, I'm trying to think to myself if it's a beaver or a otter, it's kind of hard to differentiate. Um, maybe some, maybe I'll just say it's a cross between those two energies, but it was kind of floating on its back like an otter would. I am seeing, okay, so images are starting to come in here. I'm seeing a bear. Immediately from the bear, it's like saying, take it slow. <sighs> Which is a little bit contrasting to, I also saw like a spiral kind of energy happening with um, images along the spiral, but the, the bear is sort of saying, take it slow. So it kind of represents a, ch a choice of directions here. It's interesting because um, I don't know if I actually shared this journey, but I did one a couple of days ago um, between uh, some of these, a contrast between this leprechaun energy and this bear coming in. And part of this spirit bear that came in almost like came in in a protective way 
and um, was inspiring me to kind of um, take on bear energy. And it felt very much the right energy to take on at the time. And uh, some of the bear energy is about slowing down, like, um, um, so, because I've had this issue recently, it's like the past couple of days, yeah, I've been more on the depressive side, more of the lethargic side, more of the just like, yeah, that sort of energy. But just previous to this, um, these past few days, my energy has been really, really chaotic and all over the place. Um, and kind of unbalanced. Um, I don't like the word ungrounded because it kind of has like somewhat of um, a connotation about the experience of shifts that it's a negative thing when um, going through shifts, I, I would like to reframe it as more of like potentially regrounding like being um, going from one ground to another it doesn't have to necessarily be a negative experience. It could just be that I'm in the process of reestablishing a different ground. So in the interim, yeah, I might be sort of in this regrounding phase, phase but it's not necessarily um, the idea of ungrounded in the sense of someone's just like lost their center and groundedness and they're just kind of scattered for no reason or that in that way. So, I do, I don't know, just kind of going along with energetically what I've been feeling recently is a lot of shifting, a lot of change, and I do feel like there's a lot of momentum, a lot of energy under the surface, like kind of evidenced with the, the swell in the, the lake. So it's like there's energy there and, but there's sort of this kind of covering of just, I'm exhausted from, uh, from my energy, just, yeah, just kind of like going into the exhaustion a little bit recently, but. I'm seeing the seashell again, and this is more of this new symbol I've been seeing. Um, it's it's a whitish kind of pale shell with a spiral on one side and more of the idea of an opening on the other side. Um, and I, out of curiosity, I looked it up and I believe it's um, a variation of a conch shell, um, but I have yet to really, it's kind of like this new symbol that's been occurring in my consciousness. Okay, I and I just got a symbol of a, a witch actually on a broomstick, which is another symbol that's kind of been with me so recently. <clears throat> so, okay. So yeah, so that's a new another exploration of a a new symbol I seem to be getting when I tune in and ask for guidance from the spiritual world. So um that's funny, it just disappeared there for a second. <clears throat> um <clears throat> So let's go back to the original intention here and um, OK. 
continue to ask for support and I kind of go right back to the wolf. I'm just kind of right back to this image of this wolf looking at me. <sighs> I'm sort of getting an inspiration actually to, um, I'm sort of getting this inspiration that the wolf does represent um, a fair, a fairly core guiding energy for me, and that um, it's sort of waiting right now is kind of what the representation is. It's sort of waiting, and it's funny as I'm expressing this, I'm I'm getting some alignment with um, some ET energy along with I'm expressing this just just to share um my et guides are kind of uh coming in so and aligning with this what i'm saying here a little bit um coming coming through i guess another way of saying it so what i was saying is i think that there's some recommendation of like the wolf's waiting, um, but there there was some feeling of guidance of kind of take moving forward with some of the the wolf qualities actually when I'm ready to move forward. Um, some of the the wolf qualities, uh, which actually coincide with some of my purpose. Um, um, just to kind of clarify and share what I mean by this is that um, part of my part of my purpose and um, stuff I'm doing, I, I get that the she seashell again. So I, I'm just to share. I don't know what that exactly means yet, but I'm I just want to share that. Um, is my main focus right now is to kind of like connecting with people, collaborating and producing uh, different types of YouTube videos um, as sort of like a way of sharing uh, information and showcasing co-creation in that effect. And um, I see it as um, something that actually connects to how I've used. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh God, my power. Okay. So, okay, let me just tune back in here. Um, which, what the what is being shared with me here is that the wolf as a guide is a useful guide um, to go about the forward movement that I need to do. Um, it's sort of a pattern of forward movement um, that would help me to, to bring this totem more or to when I when I'm ready to move to kind of move with the guidance of the wolf energy um and i don't quite want to go into all that right now what that means to me in particular um but just to just to share in general what's being shared with me here <sighs> i noticed some um resistance in my expression because I, I notice um some um uh, my throat starting to kind of feel some a little bit of strain here so i'm kind of asking myself <clears throat> if this is enough for this journey or if there's more i want to explore here 
let's go back to let's kind of go with, do kind of a recap of what happened here. So, okay, that was interesting. I'm I just I want to share this because I just saw a bat um, hanging upside down. Um, once again, I don't know exactly why that came in here, but um, let's share it because it's part it it, it appeared here. So. So recapping, um, I came in kind of expressing that I was kind of feeling slow, sluggish, and asking for guidance here. The wolf came in immediately, um, just kind of looking at me. And um, I kind of explored some different things like the dock and uh, the, the, the feeling expressed there and uh, the swell in the water and some different symbols that came through while I was doing this doing this um, journeying channeling um, so if I'm to kind of think of a message here it's that basically the message is basically Joe you're going through a very trans a trans there's a lot of transforming and shifting going on right now and it's okay that you feel the way you're feeling in the past few days you feel like you're just like okay time out i just like i'm exhausted let me just be depressed for a few days or whatever just like time out <laughs> um but the wolf is waiting and the wolf is also representing a, a um yourself and um a type of leadership energy a certain type of it um which would be effective for you as you move forward and um um it's all set up everything's there you can still move forward you don't got a problem it's just uh it's kind of waiting on you and um yeah Okay, so let's let's leave it there. Um, yeah, thank you guys for uh, tuning into this journey. I see a, a dolphin here. <laughs> um, thank you guys for tuning in. And um, yeah, uh, we'll see where this we'll see where um, where I where we go. Uh, it's interesting because I'm like, I'm doing these journeys, I'm learning, I'm gaining momentum, I'm doing these, and I'm learning about them as I go. And uh, you guys are, I've kind of invited you guys to come right along with me on this journey. So it's, it's kind of cool. We're unfolding something interesting together. So, all right. I see the bear at the end here. Um, thank you guys. Until uh, next time.